And while they're eating, there's a very loud knock on the door. The guy keeps on banging on the door. She opens up, this guy basically stumbles in, he's all bruised and bloodied. They help him uh, regain his strength and he says, uh, I don't know what's going on, my son, he, he beat me up almost to death and uh, I'm, I'm on the street. This episode is in loving memory of Rivka Esther Bas Foil Zev. Okay, very good. So, good luck everybody. So, because we're in Adar, and it's soon going to be Purim, here's a, a very nice Purim story about the Maggid of Kajnitz and a poor man who we will see, uh, who eventually, he may or may not become rich. So, there was a poor man who lived near Kuznets who would go to see the Maggot of Kuznets, who would spend Purim in the Maggot of Kuznets every single year. And uh, one year he goes and he hears, he hears the Maggot of Kuznets uh, laying the Megillah. He, he would lay the Megillah. And he, just from hearing this, this um, just, just from hearing the Megillah, he, he, he became very, very happy. And the Maggot of Kuznets come over to, to, oh, comes over to him and he says... Uh, he didn't bring me Shalach Manas. So now this, this poor man doesn't know what to do because he, he's, a poor, he's very, very poor. He, didn't, he doesn't even have food to put on his uh, family's table. He didn't know what to say. So, and the Maggid continues to speak to him and he says, come, it's Purim, come, come by me and taste something. So he goes to, to the house of the Maggid of Kajnitz and he talk to taste something. And he was so happy that he had the chance to partake in the home of Magad Kuznets, partake, you know, and, and have the schus to do such a thing, to have the merit. He, it's, he turned into a different person. He, he, he had a bunch of confidence. And he went to a bunch of different merchants and said like this. To one guy, he, he went to, who, who sold wine. He said, give me your best bottle of wine. Um, I'll for sure pay you back. And if not, at the end of the day, it's Purim. Right? And the, and the rule on Purim is... The one day that you don't, you don't get to ask and, and verify whether a person needs the money you're giving him or not, you just give is on Purim. Um, so, and he went and to, to the next guy who was a vendor of apples and he's a vendor of fruits and he says, give me some apples and I'll for sure pay you back and if not, it's Purim today. And, and he gives it to him, both of the people that gave it to him and he runs over to the Maggad of Kajnitz and he gives him the Shleich Manus, who's very, very happy. And, and the, the Kajnitz of tells him, every year from now on, I want you to come and bring him the Shleich Manus. Now, all of a sudden he realizes, he just did this whole thing. He was able to, to get Shleich Manus for, for, for the Maggad of Kajnitz, for his own family. They're almost dying of hunger. So he goes right away and he, and he starts again going around to vendors. He asks one for, for a loaf of bread and says the same thing. It's Purim, I'll pay you back. If not, it's Purim today. He gets some fish from, from another guy. He gets some, you know, some beverages from, from a different guy. And he says the same thing and he comes home and he walks into the house and he goes, it's Purim today and he's all happy. Now his family doesn't know, you know what's going on. They think he went crazy. You know, he, this guy, all of a sudden, they, they have nothing to eat. You know, they're all, all depressed and this guy's coming home. But he... He lays all the food out in front of them, and he says, eat, drink, and of course, they, uh, they don't need to be asked twice. And while they're eating, there is a, uh, there's a, there's a very loud knock on the door, like a banging on the door. And the, the, the guy says, you know, some, some, probably some drunk guy who's trying to, to you know, just going to ruin our, our Simchas Purim. Ignore him. The guy keeps on banging on the door. And the wife says, I think it's the, it's the, it's the guy who, who sells us potatoes. There's some guy who would, you know, some nice non-Jew selling potatoes. So I'm going to open up for him. So she opens up and he, and this guy basically stumbles in. He's all bruised and bloodied. And uh, they right away give him some food. They wash him off. They, you know, they, they help him uh, regain his composure. Regain his strength, and he says, uh, "I don't know what's going on. My son, he he beat me up almost to death. His, his one son. Imagine this guy's only son 
for whatever reason, decided to beat up his own father. And he threw him out of the house. And uh, I'm, I'm on the street. And a little bit later, he tells him, you know, since, since my son, this, the guy tells this poor Yid, since my son turned out to be a, you know, a murderous, uh, violent person, I, I don't, I don't want to give him my, uh, my treasure. I don't want to give him my, my you know, all, all my, my, uh, I was going to, yeah, I was going to bequeath to him, you know, all my, my riches, whatever, whatever he had, whatever money he had, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to show you, come with me into the forest. I'm going to show you where I hid it. And he goes and he falls in and he shows him under a certain tree. He, uh, he hid a treasure and they go back. And now this guy, they, they were helping him recuperate, but uh, unfortunately a little bit while later he died from his, from his wounds. And he went you know, after whatever, taking care of him and giving him the barrel he needs, I imagine, he goes and he, he finds the, you know, the place where the treasure is and he became a very, very rich man. And every year from then on, he went to the Magad of Kuznets and he gave him a beautiful Shalach Manis. And uh, his mazel changed, Baruch Hashem. So we should be redeemed from all of our, all of, all of whatever we are missing. We should, we should get whatever we're missing through Simcha, like in this story, right? Through Simcha. He, he, he was able to merit to whatever he needed. We should have simcha. We should have the ultimate simcha in this month of Adar and not have to wait. Shia. Thank you everybody for coming. Okay.